The defense team for Marathon Bomber, Jahar Sharnayev, will begin their opening statements today to try and spare their client from the death penalty. Our Justin Michaels is outside of the federal courthouse with this story. Good morning, Justin. Good morning to both of you. Of course, this is the penalty phase of the Boston Marathon bombings trial. And as the defense begins today, of course, their number one goal, convince this jury to spare their client's life. Federal prosecutors spent three days presenting their case during the penalty phase of the Boston Marathon bombing trial. The defense, however, is expected to take as long as two weeks. So far, jurors have seen video of Jahar Sharnayev pacing around his jail cell. They've seen him with his late brother Tamerlan at a shooting range. And they've seen him placing a bomb in front of the Forum restaurant on Boylston Street moments before it explodes. Now the defense has one goal paint a different picture of their client in an attempt to spare his life. And the focus is going to be not on what happened in April of 2013 and the months preceding that, but rather the 19 years of his upbringing. What was his family like? What was his relatives like? NECN legal editor Randy Chapman expects the defense to call experts to the stand to examine who Jahar Sarnayev really is and, more importantly, who he was at the time of the bombings. Sarnayev's relatives flew into Boston. They are now at an undisclosed location. The testimony of family and friends of his who know him outside of what happened here would be able to at least create some sympathy in the eyes of the defense that might mitigate his responsibility and spare him the death penalty. Chapman says with the relaxed evidence rules in the penalty phase, the defense will have a lot more leeway in terms of what they can present. Opening statements for the defense begin at 9 o'clock this morning, and then they'll call their first witness. Live at Boston Federal Court, I'm Justin Michaels, NECN. Justin, thank you very much. And when court gets underway uh, tomorrow morning, actually, I believe.